Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. His Excellency, Lieutenant General, the Right Honourable Sir Jerry Matepare, the Governor General of New Zealand. Amen. Ki te mihi atu, ki te pōhiri atu, ki a koutou, nā mai, haere mai, haere mai. Nā mai, haere mai ki tēnei kawanga o a tātou moni, o tira o tātou moni pepa, a kuni ka whakatūwhera tia e tātātou kawanga tiana. Ki huri ki o tātou mate kua mene ki te pō, e tāmati e herewini o whairiri tērā. Kare kore, Mete mete fana a tapira. Kare kore me te ora tunu a fai kai kone te neira. O tira a tato mate ko mene ki te po moe mai moe mai moe mai. Ke piki atu hoki te taira fiti ki a kurahi o rongo fakata hare mai e te haukai. Te fana ngata hare mai ra ki te nei hui. Nga ti porau fana i tunu e noho nei. Nā mātua, nā tipuna, haere mai. Ke he keho ki te wai pau namu, ko Ngāti toa rangatira, ko Ngāti kuia, ko Ngāti kuata, ko Ngāti tama, ko Ngāti rua nui, ko te atia. O ti rā koutou katoa, tēnei te mihi mo te whare kāwanga tanga ki a koutou, nā mai, haere mai, ki ora hui hui tātou katoa. Rauranga tira maa e kui maa e koro maa. E hui hui nei, tēnei aku mihi mahana ki a koutou. A nau mai hara mai rā ki te whare kawana, ki te whanganui atara. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings to you all and welcome to Government House. I want to specifically acknowledge His Excellency Mr Mario Bott, High Commissioner for Canada, and Mr Graham Wheeler, Governor of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. Tēnā kōrua. It is a great pleasure to welcome you all to Government House today to launch the new $100, $50 and $20 notes. This past year there has been some pretty vigorous debate about the symbols that best represent New Zealand's identity. The absence of debate about the Reserve Bank's refresh of our paper currency has probably been appreciated by the Reserve Bank Governor and the Bank. Our currency, the Kiwi, our banknotes and coins are the national devices that are most frequently accessed by our citizens. They reflect who and what we value and remember our treasures, our taonga, and they portray what we want others to know about where we see ourselves in this world. Today we have just outside another one of our precious taonga with us in the flesh, and it is most likely, it is most definitely the first time a karearea, a New Zealand falcon, has been at a function in this ballroom, our cat is hiding upstairs. <laughs> it is a delight to see it here as an example 
of the native fauna depicted on our banknotes, creatures that are unique to our country, that are a part of our sense of place, our sense of home, and which deserves our protection. In this, my final year as the Governor-General, the focus of our programme at Government House is science and innovation, looking to the future. I've had the opportunity to go to our universities and research institutes to see, among other things, what is being done to nurture our natural environment and to protect our native fauna. During those visits, I've also seen innovative solutions to long-standing scientific questions and challenges. It is great to know that our crisp new banknotes, as well as being vibrant and beautifully designed, also have a world-class security feature with them. It is worth noting that the status of science and innovation is reflected in our currency. Most not notably, on our largest value note, the $100 note. Sir Ernest Rutherford's image on it reflects the international standing he attained for his groundbreaking contributions to science and technology. If we turn to the $50 note, Sir Apirana Ngata's image acknowledges his profound and lasting contribution to Aotearoa New Zealand politically, socially, culturally, and economically. His image also serves to remind us of the importance of our bicultural roots and of the links between the past, our present, and our future. And with the $20 note, a note we are most likely to use or to get at an ATM or at the checkout, it is appropriate that it depicts Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen of New Zealand. Her Majesty the Queen's image has been on our banknotes and coins longer than any other of our sovereigns. Queen Elizabeth II represents service, continuity, unity and stability. She helps to reinforce our connections with the wider world and our links with other nations of the Commonwealth. I'm looking forward to telling Her Majesty about the new notes when I see her next month. In closing, I, like other New Zealanders, will appreciate the quality, the sharpness and the enhanced integrity of the new notes. And without further ado, I am delighted, together with the Reserve Bank Governor, to officially launch New Zealand's new $20, $50 and $100 notes. He gets the big note. <laughs> and now I invite the Reserve Bank Governor to make his comments. Well, good morning, and thank you, Your Excellency, uh, for your very warm welcome and for hosting us today. Uh, it's very kind of you, and it's much appreciated. It's an honour to have the New Zealand Series 7, 20, 50 and $100 banknotes unveiled at Government House. I'd like to start by thanking several of our honoured guests. These include our international partners, from the Canadian Banknote Company, Rana Renz, who is chairman of the company, and Mary Lou Robinson, who is vice president. The Canadian Banknote Company have done an outstanding job and been an excellent partner. 
His Excellency, Mr. Mario Bott, High Commissioner for Canada, members from our iwi communities, Nati Paro, Ronga Fakata, and Fokatu Marai, whose images are presented on these banknotes. Representatives of the Nata family, Debbie Stewart, Executive Director of Wingspan Trust, thank you for bringing a falcon to Government House today as a symbol of the $20 banknote. And the Chairman of the Reserve Bank Board, Dr Rod Carr, and fellow board members, Tanya Simpson and Keith Taylor. Thank you all for coming today, and let me also extend a very warm welcome to our other guests. The project to upgrade New Zealand banknotes has taken three years of hard work. It wouldn't have been possible without stakeholders who work tirelessly on this project and to whom we are deeply indebted. Many of them, including Reserve Bank colleagues, are here today, and I'd like to thank them all for their enormous contribution. We unveiled the $5 and $10 banknotes last September. The new $20, $50 and $100 banknotes will come into circulation from 16 May, when banks and retailers will start issuing them over the counter and ATMs will begin to stock them. Both the current Series 6 and new Series 7 notes will be legal tender and will co-circulate. So please take a look at the new notes on display and do join us for morning tea in the conservatory. Thanks very much indeed, and let me thank uh, His Excellency once again. So thanks very much. Welcome the New Zealand Falcon Shahina. Can I get a photo of it? Lovely, isn't she? She'll be fine, won't she? Yes. You just keep your hands steady and level. Yeah. She might be able to smell my cat on me. <laughs> Come on. Well, I hope not. Here we go. You just loosen that from. Yeah, sure. Here you go, sure. Here we go. Okay, sure. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? I'll just show you I just lost one. Oh, yeah. Can you let me go? Just keep your hands just like that. That's okay. There she is. Yeah. <laughs> Try and undo it. Cheers. over that way for the Facebook. 
เกิดเกี่ยวเกิดเกี่ยวเกิดเกี่ยวเกิดเกี่ยวนะฮะไม่ต้องต้องสเตรสต์เยอะมากนะ